I'm coming to you today with a confession about propagating succulents. I have this amazing shelf of succulent propagation, but it's barely grown in like a year, maybe more. And I will tell you why and show you why. So first up, I have to say, I love having these little tiny one inch snappy pots for propagating. It just makes it super cute and really fun. So that part of it, I love. However, I am not the most consistent waterer. And so that tends to cause problems with propagation because it's not getting enough water frequently enough. So that's my number one problem, not watering enough. And so these babies don't grow because they're getting enough water to stay alive, but they're also not getting enough water to grow very quickly. So the second thing is, you can probably see this here, the way that I'm watering these, they end up having water that pools on them for a decent period of time, maybe a couple days before it dries out, really depends on the pot but we have extremely hard water here in Arizona, and so there's just a lot of mineral buildup. Um, actually, I've thought about cleaning this off before I do videos sometimes, because you can just see this line of like orange around the edge. It happens with every pot. Um, I used to have some terracotta pots, um, which I guess I do still technically have one back there, and the terracotta would really, really show all of the the hard water buildup. And I don't think it's good for the baby succulents. However, I'm not gonna go to the effort of watering with distilled water because it goes against everything that I do with growing succulents, trying to make it as simple and low maintenance as possible. So solution to my succulent babies not growing very quickly would be to water them a little bit more frequently and possibly use distilled water or maybe just clean up some of the mineral deposits. Some of these are obviously surviving and growing a lot better than others, like this little Crassula Tom Thumb, whereas this Echeveria is really struggling. It should probably be thrown away. Um, there's another one back there. It's just ready to be thrown away. But I wanna show you what I mean when I say that some of them have just been growing really, really slowly. So I have them all input into the succulent tracker app. You can see there's 57 containers of succulents on this little shelf here. Um, so let's take a look at this one. So you can see here it is in real life. So this is the middle of January as I'm recording this. And you can see this picture was taken in February of last year. So about a year ago, this is what it looked like. And I have a picture of it in August of 2021, so about a year and a half ago. And now. It's actually gotten smaller. <laughs> it's not gotten bigger, but it's still alive. And so that's the thing with growing succulents just in general. You kind of have to decide, like, is it important to me that these are, like, growing and getting so much bigger? Or do I just enjoy growing them kind of regardless of what happens, which is where I'm really at with most of my succulents. Now, that said, I do have a lot of new growth back here that's doing pretty well from leaf propagations. This stuff is all relatively new and I'm hopeful that I'll get back into a better groove of watering more frequently so that all of this stuff grows more. But just know the, the amount that your succulents grow is going to vary significantly based on how good you are at watering that perfect amount, that perfect frequency. And I definitely recommend like take pictures of your succulents along the way. I love having this photo history to kind of see what has happened and see some of the progression with my plants over time. Because I knew going into this when I recorded this video that some of these plants were almost two years old but I hadn't actually gone back and looked at the pictures. So it's really fascinating to me to see how they've changed. So make sure you're watering enough, but not too much, and then take some pictures along the way so you can see the progress that you're making with these babies. And if they're not growing super fast, just know you're in good company. <laughs> Neither are mine, um, but maybe we can all work on that together, watering our leaf props a little bit more frequently so that they grow more quickly.
And if you're not familiar with how to propagate succulents, um, look at the links in the description and I have a full tutorial on how to propagate from leaves. We also have a course that goes in depth into a lot of these nuances of how to get your succulent propagations to grow faster, some do's and don'ts and best practices so that they do grow into full adulthood because usually that is the tricky point for people is getting them all the way to be a beautiful adult plant. So take a look at the link in the description and I can walk you through there how to get your succulents to grow all the way into adulthood from a tiny little leaf.